All right, so the next task uh, I want us to be able to do uh, if the need arises is baseline subtraction. So when we're dealing with x-ray diffraction and any sort of experimental data, there's going to be some background signal. And so uh, base, uh, sorry, baseline subtraction then allows us to subtract out that sort of noise of the signal. So here you notice that um, there's actually quite a bit of signal here um, at around 10 degrees to theta, but then it goes down, right? There's no peaks that we can see, uh, but there does seem to be um, some, some higher than zero values here of intensity, right? So background is pretty common uh, in x-ray diffraction. And so if we want to be able to get rid of that, um, this can have some some minor effects on the data. Uh, here, I think the uh, overall effect is going to be pretty small because most of the uh, most of this background noise is uh, where we don't have many peaks, uh, and you'll notice that it's relatively flat um, elsewhere on, on this uh, side. But it's in ge general a good idea to know how to do a baseline subtraction. So this FIDIC program uh, does a pretty good job and easy to to navigate. So uh, we're still in this uh, normal mode, which allows you to zoom. What we want to do is you'll see the next one is data range, and then we have baseline mode. So this is F3. So I'm going to switch to there. And what this does is it allows us to establish what the baseline is. So if you click, so a left, a standard left click, um, you will add a, um, you will add a point uh, at that given point, right? Um, in this case, uh, let me delete these. Uh, there was one up here by mistake for some reason. Okay, so this is usually where you'll start out. There'll be no points selected. And so if you want to add a point um, on the curve, you're going to click. So you'll see here that I made it up here, and that doesn't make sense. That's not part of the background. So what I'm trying to do is fit this curve that you can see sort of the underlying uh, intensity uh, that's not part of these peaks, right? So I'm trying to fit that. So um, if I want to remove a, pick, uh, a point that I made that just errant point or something, uh, you can right click. So if I right click, I'll get rid of it. So what I really wanna do is try to model the behavior that I see with the background. So I'm gonna pick the first point to be right here. And if it asks you to start a new background, you can do that. All right, so, so far I have one point, and so it's just a linear line. So this is obviously not correct. We want to make sure that matches the background. And so I can try to do another point, and uh, I wanna be careful not to select anything that's part of the peaks, right? Because you wanna maintain those peaks. So I'll pick one, let's try it right here. Right? So I've got two points, and you can see that it kind of goes uh, way underneath the, the, the curve. So it's not necessarily fitting it very well. So let's pick another one out here where there doesn't seem to be any peaks. All right, you can see that it's brought it back in line, but it curves back down here again. So I'll pick one down here where there's no peaks. Right, And you can keep doing this, adding in until you've sort of made a good representation um, of the the background. So here you can see that it's not really well fitting, so I'll add another point. Uh, and you can kind of uh, add as many as you need. Um, I do try to uh, add as little as I can to get the, uh, the fit that I want, um, but I also don't want to um, distort the data. So let me... Um, so, so we've added a few data points here. The, again, the important thing is that we don't sort of, um, that this red line that you see, this is our proposed uh, baseline, that it matches extremely well with the uh, green curve. So you just wanna kind of inspect and make sure that that does a good job um, of that. And so I try to get it in, so if you see the noise and how wide or how tall this noise signal is, you want to kind of get it in the midpoint of that noise. Uh, so that's kind of the idea that I'm doing with this fit. So um, I'm fairly happy with this, um, so I'll use this as my baseline. So the next step, once you've satisfied with this, 
making sure that it's not distorting any of these uh, peaks that we have so that it goes through the, the midpoint here. What I'm going to do is go up to uh, the GUI, G-U-I, and then baseline handling, and then you're going to subtract the baseline. So there you can see that I've gotten rid of a lot of this noise, or it's gone to zero, as you might be able to see down here. And so uh, you've basically made this flat, and that's what you're trying to do. You just want to basically isolate and just look at these diffraction peaks, right? Everything else, uh, noise uh, is frequent in the low two theta regions from the way the machine's set up, and you have a lot more uh, interference. Uh, so um, you can get rid of this with the baseline. Um, I will say it's not really, uh, uh, you may not notice a huge effect. So in some cases, if this is relatively flat, you may not even have to do a baseline subtraction like we did here. But that's kind of what we'd wanna do uh, to set up the baseline and then subtract it for our data set.